Welcome to Golf Mobility Pro Season 2, Episode 7. In this episode, we're going to teach you how to have a stable and balanced lower body while you have awkward lies with your golf shots. In order to do that, you're gonna to need to be able to have single leg strength and a strong core so you can separate your upper body from your lower body and stay balanced throughout the shot. Being able to effectively shift your weight involves strengthening each leg and working on single leg balance. Start by standing on one leg, keeping a slight bend in the knee and lift the opposite leg up so your knee is in line with your hip. Hold your golf club in front of you, placing your hands a little bit wider than the shoulders. Keep your gaze steady on one point in front of you and take a micro turn with the upper body. So you're slightly turning the shoulders, engaging the core, turning over the leg that's lifted, and then come back to your starting position. As you move through this exercise, you're building strength in the standing leg while also working on rotation in the upper body and core strength. If you're still working on your balance, you can try this exercise with your club connected to the ground. Repeat about 10 to 15 reps before going to the other side. In addition to having a strong lower body, we also need a stable core. Lying on your back, pick your legs up so your knees are stacked over your hips and your legs are bent at 90 degrees. Hold the club over you so your shoulders are directly below the wrists. Extend the right leg, letting it hover above the floor without it touching, and at the same time, slightly twist the upper body so you lower the right shoulder down. Pull everything back to center and return to your starting position. You'll repeat this to the other side, extending the left leg long, letting the left oblique engage Engage as you drop the left shoulder down and then come back to center. You'll continue to alternate sides, keeping the core tight, pulling your belly button towards your spine and extending one leg at a time. If you're feeling any lower back discomfort during this exercise, keep a bend in the knee the entire time. You'll go eight times to the right and the left. Hi, my name is Carly Peters. I'm the assistant golf professional at Quaker Ridge, also a PGA member, and today we are filming tips on uphill, downhill, and sidehill lies. So the first thing to remember when you're on an uphill lie would be to lean into the hill a little bit. If we were to turn our gravity switch off, we're definitely gonna fall backwards. So make sure you put a little more weight in your toes and lean into the hill. If you're on a downhill lie, we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna lean into our heels a little bit because we also don't wanna fall forward. The second thing to remember when we're on uphill and downhill lies would be to lengthen or shorten our club. Meaning, shortening would be choking up on the club, holding it closer to the shaft, or lengthen it, holding it close to the end of the club. We're gonna shorten our club on an uphill lie and lengthen our club on a downhill lie. This is gonna help us get the best contact possible when we're a little bit off balance. The third thing to remember on uphill and downhill lies would be to swing at about 75% speed. If we do swing a little too hard, we have a chance of losing our spine angle, losing our balance, and maybe not even hitting the golf ball at all. For side hill lies, another tip to add would be to make our shoulders level with the ground. We don't want to fight the hill and have our shoulders equidistant. We want to have a nice angle to also help our spine in the shot. If my left foot is higher than my right, I want to have my right shoulder just a drop lower than my left. If my right foot is higher than my left foot, I want to have my left shoulder a drop lower than my right. This is going to help me create a really good angle of attack to hit the golf shot where I want to. Robin Barry Caden here with your nutrition tip of the day. One of my favorite snacks for a round of golf are these Eaton hemp seeds. Not only are they a balanced snack on their own, since they contain protein, carbs, and fat, they taste great. They have a great crunch and they're high in fiber, so these will keep you going for your whole round. For our lower body stability exercise, we're gonna do a split squat hold. You're gonna get in a half kneeling position with both knees bent at 90 degrees and one knee is gonna start on the ground. From there, you're gonna lift one knee about two to three inches off the ground and you're gonna hold that for five seconds. You're gonna do five each side. That's gonna really help build quad strength and hip stability so that you can stay balanced and stable on these awkward lies. For the core exercise, we're gonna keep the lower body stable and place the golf club across our chest. All you're gonna do is get into golf stance and then turn the left shoulder down towards the ground as the right one goes up, and then vice versa, turn the right shoulder to the ground as the left one goes up. Make sure that the lower body stays still the entire time and does not turn with the upper body.
Dr. Matthew Myers here from Velocity Sports Medicine here to give you your sports medicine tip. A technique that we use for golfers to restore functional range of motion is called active release technique. Active release technique or ART is a technique where we use our hands to break up trigger points in the tendons, ligaments, or muscles. What we do is it's almost a combination of deep tissue muscle therapy combined with mobility work trying to enhance range of motion, restore proper functioning, and get rid of impedances that have been holding your body back. It's commonly used on the PGA Tour and a lot of the high level athletes use this technique every single day. If you've enjoyed this episode, please give it a like and share it with a fellow golfer. And subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming episodes. And if you're looking for more, click on the link below to enroll in the Ultimate Golf Fitness Program, a 12-week progressive course to help you improve mobility, strength, and power in your game.